started on our road to study the effect of shrat exercise. So the, uh, I have no disclosure of relevance to influence uh, my uh, presentation today. Uh, we got some funding for this study. And so the goal of our trial here was to determine the effect of Schrott exercise when we add it to standard care compared to using standard care alone. And a, in our practice, standard care is observation or bracing as per most of Canada and the United States. We looked at the effect in patients with adolescent idiopathic scoliosis only, and the outcomes we were measuring were the Cobb angle, so the curve severity on the x-ray, the quality of life measured by a questionnaire, the perceived appearance measured by a questionnaire, back muscle endurance, and postural measurements. We had a group at this point of, uh, in this analysis of 50 participants. They represent the typical patients with AIS, but a broad range of skeletal severity and curve severity. We did include patients that were or were not wearing a brace. If they met the indication for wearing a brace, they did wear one. Uh, and we excluded patients with surgeries from the trial. So after doing our baseline examination, the patients are assigned to one of two groups. If they're in the standard of care group, they either are just under observation or they get their brace. If they are in our SHROT exercise trial, our protocol is we begin with five one-on-one -on -one visits to instruct the patients on how to do their exercises. That takes about two weeks of their time. After that, we visit with the therapist once a week to adjust the exercise program that the patients do at home, and we ask the patients to do 30 minutes of exercises at home every day. That's about as low an intensity of a program that has been tested so far. In Europe, they do much, min, much more many hours than that. We test again at three months and at six months. And so far, our results are uh, good in terms of dropout. Our participants stuck with it till the end. We had four dropouts in the Schrock group, two dropouts in the standard care group. And also, they attended the visits we wanted. We had a 76% attendance compared to the prescribed number of visits, and they completed 73% of the home exercise that were asked of them. So we are satisfied with these number in this group. So here are the results. So we measured the changes in the Cobb angle, so measured on the x-ray as illustrated there, in our Schrock group and in our control group. We found a difference that was significance between group of 3.5 degrees at the end of the period, and that represented a slight improvement in the Schrock group and a slight deterioration in the control group. Now these numbers are not necessarily how the surgeons look at the results. Typically they'll present to you your results whether you have increased by more than 5 degrees or decreased by more than 5 degrees to show have you had progression or regression of your curves. So if we present our numbers that way, we find that in the group that received the exercises in addition to their standard of care, we observe fewer curve deterioration, so fewer curve severity increase than in the other group. And similarly, we have more patients where the curve state improve, become improved or stayed stable when they receive the exercise than in the other group. As part of our trial, we, I told you we were measuring the back muscle endurance. So as illustrated up there, we measured the whole time during a uh, task, uh, as illustrated there. And we found that from baseline to three months, there was a 30 seconds gain in our shrug group compared to only five seconds gain in the other group that was significant. After that, there was no further change, but the difference was maintained. We also showed some significant improvement in the perceived self-image that reached significance from three months to six months. So that's uh, how do you perceive you look. Um, there was improvement that way. And also the quality of life questionnaire as a pain scale. And we found that from three months to six months in our trial, we did have a significantly better effect on pain in those that received the Schrott exercise compared to those that did not. Mm -hmm. For the other questionnaires we were using, we didn't find differences between the two groups. So that is the SRS22 quality of life questionnaire function and total scales and different uh, perceived appearance uh, questions related to a different questionnaires. Now, when we looked at objective measurements of the posture in these patients using surface topography, we found that we were able to reduce the postural asymmetries with the exercises. So, for example, we measured the waist asymmetry depth um, and found that from three months to six months, we had a significant effect on that measurement. Um, I skipped the... Uh and then we also measured the pelvis alignment and the pelvis tilt was improved as a result of using the exercises that became significant at three months. And then the amount of uh, shift from the neck position relative to the pelvis in patient with scoliosis was also improved by doing the exercises. 
We also looked into transverse plane, how much torso rotation is there with our surface measurement. So back surface measurement were improved from baseline to three months. And then also when we looked at the depth difference, so how prominent are the scapulas or how much depth difference there is in the low back of our patients, we found significant improvement on these measurements as well. So in conclusion, at this point, we have evidence that at six months, uh, Schrott exercise added to standard care can improve the radiograph appearance of patients, the back muscle endurance, some pain and self-image scores, and some postural outcomes in all tree planes. I want to caution you, though. Our study was not comparing whether we should use exercise instead of bracing. Our study was comparing can we gain better effects if we add exercises to bracing, and that seems to be the case. These promising short-term effects at this point support continuing our research to try to see, well, can we hold these gains in the long term up until the patients are skeletally mature? And we're trying to continue our study as a multi-center trial so that we have more than 50 patients to report on. So I want to acknowledge the funding we have received for the study, uh, and we'll be happy to take more questions. I have a couple pictures also I can bring in to try to describe the Schrott exercise in a little bit more detail.